Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Today I thought it would be fun to take you through a regular day in my life here in New York City. We've lived in New York for exactly four months now, so we're starting to get into the swing of things in our new home. If you're new here, there are two other videos you might want to check out. My morning routine, where I get super detailed about how I spend the first couple of hours of each day, and my apartment tour so you can see our whole place. I'll have both linked if you want to check them out after this video. So I'm a huge proponent of daily resets. So after I get ready each day, the very next thing I do is clean and reset the bathroom. With only one bathroom and white floors, it seems to get dirty so quickly. It takes me around five to six minutes to vacuum, wipe down the sink and counter and toilet. Every other day, I also clean the toilet bowl and change out the hand towel. That's something that is so different about having one bathroom. It seems like the hand towel is always wet. The question that I get the most is how is Toaster adjusting to life in New York City? Toaster is our little dog and he is doing an amazing job. So we've been here for four months and it's taken us this long to really get him to warm up to being around other dogs here in the city. He's had to learn to go to the bathroom on the street or the sidewalk and he's adjusted to that really well but only recently have we really been able to get him into the dog park and playing with others. It makes me so happy to see him playing again. Well, hello. <laughs> so I am sitting down to my desk. It's about 10, 12. So normally I would be getting back into bed to eat my breakfast and read and knit after I take care of toaster, take care of chores and everything. But today <laughs> I'm running a little behind and I decided to like sleep in and I played on my phone in bed before I got out of bed. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to skip that part. I'm going to take my breakfast to my desk and go ahead and get started on emails for the day. Um, today I have a nail appointment. I go about every three weeks on Fridays and get my nails and my toes done. Um, and so I have that coming up and I have to leave in about an hour. So I'm like, all right, I need to get some things done. But one of the questions that I get a lot is, Natalie, what do you do? <laughs> so I am now a full-time, like, YouTuber, influencer, 
what have you, whatever you want to call it. And so I was kind of hoping I could show you today some of the things that I do that are involved with that because it's ever changing. And I mean, a lot of that is like filming and editing videos. I'm filming a video right now. I'm going to look at a video that my husband helped me edit later today. Um, but there's other parts to that too. I also have this whole other business that is completely separate from this and that, and it's called Nitty Natty, and it is actually the biggest um, contributor to our income right now. It's wonderful and amazing and so much fun. I have a knitting membership, I have a community, and I design knitting patterns, and I put out YouTube videos there too. Anyway, so that being said, it can be very like, well, what does a YouTuber do day to day? So I'm hoping to show you some of that today. But I like to start out every single morning at my computer and I answer all of my emails for today. So I go to my personal email first and then I go to either my Nitty Natty or my This and That one, doesn't matter. And I just work through all of those emails. It takes me about, um, I don't know, my personal email that takes like three minutes, but everything else takes a little longer just depending on what I have coming in that day, but doing it daily takes way less time. And then I also will check my budget every single morning. So I'll make sure I put my budget tracker down below. It's really easy to track. So today is July 30th. We have one more day left of the month and I've already got my August budget like copied over, ready, like anything that I know that's coming in, we're going to start paying um, our rent in August because we had a deal like a three months free so getting all of that set up and making sure everything is ready um, for that so that's what I do every single morning just to start the day and then hopefully before I go I'm keep looking at the time I'm gonna have some time to put together some packages I have some yarn prizes that I'm sending out to people so I need to like write the notes and weigh them and mail them and anyway so let's do all that but first emails breakfast and coffee. All right, so I set myself a 30 minute timer to do my emails and I didn't get it done. <laughs> I still have one more inbox to go through, but that's okay. I just had like a lot of um, uh, emails from brands. So um, now that I'm doing YouTube full time, one of the best ways to make an income is to work with sponsorships, work with brands. And so that involves like a lot of back and forth emailing and talking about things. And a lot of times, especially for this and that, um, because it's such a universal channel being like a lifestyle and cleaning channel is I get like a lot of really um, like not real <laughs> messages and so I kind of have to like respond to those and feel them out and see if they're like real or sometimes they'll just want to like send me something for free and it takes a lot of time to make YouTube videos and so that's not something that I do <laughs> anymore but um, anyway, I don't know if you're interested in that. I could talk more about it, but so that's what I was doing. And so I didn't get through all those because those do take some time to respond to. Um, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to move on to my next thing and I will come back to that later. Um, but I am going to be doing some mailing here. So I use this website called Pirate Ship and it's a free website. And basically I can like put, um, addresses in there and print out shipping labels here at home. And then now I have these, um, Okay, so before, I, I do a lot of prizes for my Nitty Natty business, and so I will send, like, people will send me yarn and other things, and then I will send those out as prizes, and it can, it was getting kind of expensive because I was going over to FedEx, because <laughs> it's right across the street from me, and so it was like $13, $15 package, and I was like, you know what, this is like a little bit expensive for um, something that I'm not, you know, selling as my own product. Anyway, so I was like, okay, somebody told me about pirate ships. So I'm using that. And then I got like a ton of pink <laughs> mailers on Amazon. And now stepping up my game here, I've got this label maker because we do not have a printer. So, um, we like never print anything. I mean, who prints stuff anymore? I don't. Hi toaster. Haven't made the bed yet. But anyway, so I, I was like, I don't want a printer when we move. We're getting rid of our printer. And then, of course, now I need to print stuff. Um, so I got a label printer because that's really all we need to print. And it's great for returns and stuff, too, like when I have to return something to Amazon. And so I will just, like, package my thing up. I weigh it here on my little kitchen scale, which you also saw me weighing my cereal on. <laughs> Use it for everything. And then I can just, like, print the label, package it up, and take it downstairs to our front desk and I don't even have to go to the post office. It's, it's amazing. I just started doing this this week and it has made things so much better, but I have like a backlog of prizes that I need to send out. So I'm going to try to get like two or three done 
right now and then it's 10 51 i'm gonna try to walk out the door in 20 minutes and go to my nail appointment eh, maybe not 20 minutes it doesn't take that long to walk there but then we're gonna go to the nail appointment so there's a little bit of a behind the scenes <laughs> of what goes on day to day in my business It's 11.15, time to head out to my 11.30 nail appointment. I'm gonna drop off my package downstairs. I refilled my coffee, because I'm still not, dry, not drinking coffee yet. And wallet, cash, to give them a tip. They always like that. And I, last time, listened to um, like a course that I'm in on my, on my phone, my AirPods while I was there. And that really kind of helped pass the time because I don't want to be like not grateful about getting my nails done. It's such a luxury, but it can be kind of boring. And so I'm like, oh, I can be productive while I'm there and listen to something while my hands are occupied. So I think I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to download something here before I go. But then uh, the nail place is only like a blockish away. So I will uh, take you on a little walk over there. I'll kind of show you some things, I guess, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'll show you the walk over there, but it's really fast. It's so convenient to just be able to walk instead of having to drive somewhere. I love it. Hi, little boy. Do you want to go outside in a second? Oh, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's put some light in here and maybe actually make the bed today. Sometimes people ask if we don't have shades and we have sheer shades. We don't have blackout shades, um, but we could get them for like $800. Do you think that would be worth it? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I just got back from getting my nails done. I picked this pink color so I get dip powder on my nails. And usually I just get regular polish on my toes, but I've had such a horrible experience here in New York with getting my nails done at all. Can you hear the traffic? Um, that they like regular polish just comes off, whereas in Texas I would get regular polish and it would last for a month. I would only go once a month and get my toes done. Anyway, I think it could be like walking or just like the quality of um, places here in New York. But as you can see, I did not get my eyebrows done or my lip wax, which is what I usually do. Because again, in Texas, it was 100% fine to do that. Here, have not had so much luck. Um, and if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen those horror stories where I just had like burns and scars and it was a mess. So I didn't do that this time. But I had the most productive time ever. Ever at the nail salon I did bring my headphones and I watched a couple courses I watched one on um, 
Google calendars, like how to use Google calendars to schedule things out. And so I actually learned a lot from that and uh, noticed that they did a lot of what I already do. Hold on, stay on my hand. Um, and then I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I finally caught up on my Instagram messages. I have two main accounts and Toaster has an account too, but he doesn't get very many messages. Um, I have had in my request thing, like if you go to your Instagram messages, you have like people you've already messaged with and then you have a request, hey buddy, a request one. And since January, both of my accounts have had 99 plus requests and I've just felt too overwhelmed I think to go in there and answer messages but I wanted to get caught up so that I can just be like interacting daily and it not be so overwhelming and I don't know just something about you know it, and I think it's okay like when you just have so much going on it's hard like moving and all of that stuff finally getting settled here after four months I was finally able to create some mental space for that and I got it done so I answered like 200 messages <laughs> while I was getting my nails done. Some of them were so long ago that I was like, this person's not even gonna know what we're talking about anymore. I will just message them back the next time they message me. But I did that, I had the most productive time ever. Now it is uh, 2.17, it took forever. It took like, what is that? I think I went at 11.30, so two and a half hours? Yeah, two and a half hours. So I'm gonna make sure I already schedule my appointment for three weeks from today that I block off more time and know that it's gonna take that long. Um, so I am gonna get this little dog outside. We might go to the dog park. And then I actually have a Zoom coming up, an event at four o'clock, which is not that far away. So once we come back up here, I'm gonna make some lunch real quick, sit down on my computer, and we are gonna bust and get stuff done. Toaster, you ready to go outside? Come here. Yes, oh, whoa, it's a flash on? Why is the flash on? That's so creepy. Okay, there, that's better. Did you drop your toy? Are you ready to just watch any time today? Are you ready now? Keys. Dog bags. Good stretch, buddy. And treats. You ready? Let's go. is learning to behave. Sit. Good boy. Good. Before we do lunch, I'm gonna make up this bed real quick because I never got to it yesterday. And if I go too many days without making the bed and like getting all the hair off, the toaster hair, it gets really bad. Uh, hey bud. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So somebody asked me on Instagram, why do I have a white bed with a dog? And why don't I just get like a darker um, bedspread to hide stuff? And so here's my philosophy. This is just an opinion. So I love the look of a white bed right now. 
I think it just looks so clean and so fresh and so light in the room. I really don't want anything darker. Um, the bed is the biggest thing most of the time in the bedroom. And so whatever bedding you have on there can really affect the entire room. And I just really like white. Um, so yes, it's a little harder with like stains and stuff, but because it's white, I can usually get everything out. Um, I wash it once a week, like the top stuff when I wash the sheets. And then as far as the dog hair goes, I'm actually kind of glad I can see the dog hair because hey the dog hair is going to be there either way whether it's white or you know like a pattern it kind of hides the dog hair it's still there and I want to be able to use my bed lay clothes down on it and not get like so much dog hair on it so that's my philosophy you know choose what you like the aesthetic and then if you need to like you know clean it more because you're seeing it's dirty then hey it was already dirty anyway Back at my computer, ready to get to work now. I've got my favorite lunch for the summer, which is so easy. It's apples and then this dip. And all this dip is, it's so easy. It's Greek yogurt, plain, I like plain Greek yogurt because I don't like anything too sweet. And I use almond butter, so there's like no added sugar or anything to it. But if you want something a little more sweet, you can add regular peanut butter, which has sugar in it or you can do like a vanilla Greek yogurt. Anyway, you just do, I don't know, I don't even portion it out really. I just do like a serving size of the peanut butter or almond butter and some yogurt and then you stir it up. It's kind of hard to stir, so like it takes a second to get it stirred up by like a minute maybe. And then I just dip my apples in and eat it that way. It's so good, light, good for the hot days, uh, especially here where our air conditioner is like less than great <laughs> and I've got my matcha lemonade trying to get some fiber and collagen in so it is 323 I've got 47 no 37 minutes <laughs> until I have an event that will be two hours long on zoom for my uh, for Nicky Natty this day has gone by so fast I totally thought that I was gonna get more done but Oh well, I'm still getting stuff done. It's totally fine. Um, so I'm going to be working furiously on my computer as quick as I can to get some of those essential things done. And then we're going to have fun at the event. It's going to be great. And after that, we are going to be going over to a friend's apartment. They literally live right across the street um, and just celebrate the weekend. It's a Friday. So hang out, see some friends I haven't seen in a little while. So I'm very excited. It's a, it's a good day. So I'm looking at my I'm looking at my to-do list here that I made last night. Kind of as the day goes on, I will put stuff on my to-do list. I love these. I have a whole video on how I use this planner. It's the best, even though I am trying to move over some stuff to Google Calendars. Um, but I really do like having something on paper just to write things down. So yeah, I'm going to get into what do we want to do here first. Um... I don't even know. I'm just gonna have to pick something and work on it and I'm gonna have to do a little more work tomorrow even though it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm working towards like having more stops and starts to my work day and trying not to work on the weekend but it's a process. All right, I'm about to open up Zoom. This is like hands down one of the most fun things that I do. Oh, sorry, that's a little, it's not, there we go. That's a little better, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> so hands down, one of the most fun things that I get to do every single week is get on Zoom with other knitters and crocheters. So that's part of Knitty Natty. Um, and it's so much fun. And today is just a really casual time. Sometimes we have more structured events that I, I lead. And this one's just a very casual one. I'm going to be giving away a prize for um, a make-along that we've been doing together. And then I'm going to be knitting myself. So I have um, some socks and <laughs> some beautiful socks that I've been knitting on here um, If you are a knitter and you're interested this pattern is called string of hearts It's by Maddie Hobbs who happens to be one of our members, too um, so That's what I'm going to be doing here uh, for the next hour or so and then a little more work <laughs> And then off to have some fun Hi
here's the aftermath <laughs> of our event. I have got to clean up my desk here before I uh, move on. And I've only got half an hour until we head across the street to our friend's house. So Alexa, no, that's not what she's called. Echo, <laughs> set a 25 minute timer. 25 minutes, starting now. My timer went off, so I have cleaned up and shut down my desk for the evening. I did not get nearly what I wanted to get done today, like not even close. A big part of that is because I chose to sleep in and then got my nails done and all of that. But you know what? The best advice I ever got when I was teaching, my very first year of teaching, I used to get there super early, like an hour before an hour before school started, I would stay until like eight, seven, eight in the evening. It was just miserable. And one of the teachers that was like, you know, had been teaching for a few years said to me, you know what, Natalie, it will keep. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, whatever you have to do, it's going to be there tomorrow. It will keep until tomorrow. It will be there. And so all of the things that didn't get done today, that's because they didn't have to. <laughs> and yeah, maybe they kind of did need to, but like, Tomorrow will be a new day, it'll be, I'll be fresh, I'll be ready, and you gotta have time to spend with your friends and your family and just chill. So that's what we're about to do. I have um, put on jeans and put on jewelry and some dry shampoo in my hair and put perfume on. I have to leave this guy for a minute. Um, anyway, so we're getting ready to just walk across the street. I've got some wine from the fridge that I'm gonna bring and my knitting of course I got a couple more packages to drop off downstairs because I've been slowly working on those this whole week so yeah overall you know it really was a productive day mm, I hate when this is open actually I need another mask we're gonna be doing some closet organization here at some point I love these this is my favorite one from Old Navy um, anyway, so I don't know how much I will film over there because I just, I don't, you know, like to put pressure on friends or anyone to be in my videos, but I'm kind of dirty. <laughs> but I might get a little bit and then when we come back, hopefully I can have a nice relaxing evening. I'm hoping we're not over there super late, but we'll see. Hi cutie, you ready to go out one more time? <laughs> we just got back from our friend's house. It's after 10.45, so not early. Um, but I'm about to take Toaster out real quick and then feed him his dinner, get showered in bed and start relaxing. Uh, the last few nights I've been trying to go to bed earlier. And so kind of what I'll do is get in bed with like some tea and a couple cookies and read and that gets me sleepy and then go brush my teeth and go to bed so that's probably what we're gonna go do here but first we gotta take care of this dog this is his third time out for the day he usually goes out three or four times so you ready toaster toast you ready to go outside you want to go outside outside Oh my goodness. 
Okay, let's go. All right, ready for bed. I've got my book and back here and the brightness, my tea and some cookies. We still have Girl Scout cookies left over. I don't know. Um, anyway, so ready to relax. I've got my best friend. <laughs> Okay, this way is better. Plus I had a little coughing attack. So last night I think I woke up at like four in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep for a while because I was coughing. So hopefully that doesn't happen tonight. Okay, anyway, I asked on Instagram if there was anything that you wanted to see in this day in the life. And I was able to cover some of it, but here's just some really quick ones I'm gonna answer right now. So somebody asked about my coffee mug and straw. Are you drinking hot or iced coffee? black or a delightful recipe. So I am drinking hot coffee through the straw. I'm doing that to try not to get um, coffee to stain my teeth and nothing special. I just put collagen and almond milk in it. I don't like sweet in my morning coffee. But sometimes after that, I might like in the afternoon go to um, a cafe and get something that has a little bit of sugar in it. Um, somebody asked about window cleaning, so I am not cleaning, I haven't cleaned the inside of the windows here, but there are professional window cleaners that come and clean these high-rise buildings. I haven't seen them yet. I think they only do it twice a year, so I will definitely let you know on Instagram when those window cleaners are coming. I'm so excited about that. Um, somebody said they'd like to see desk drawer organization. I do not have any desk drawers. That's my organization. <laughs> don't have any desk drawers and you don't have to organize them. Um, I do keep some office supplies in like a bin. Uh, you kind of saw that, maybe saw that earlier when I was getting stuff out to write um, notes and like to send off to people. So that's where I keep some of my desk stuff, but I don't need it often. Um, so I just have like my pins on my desktop. We got a lot of toaster stuff in. People wanted to see toaster. Um, the name of the books that I'm reading. So I am reading a knitting murder mystery series. I love to read on my Kindle. I use an app called Overdrive and I borrow books from the library. So I belong to the New York City Library, but I also belong to the library back in Texas. And I use my mom's library card in Tennessee because the Tennessee Library has the most books. Um, but I am reading a knitting murder mystery series. It is like a cozy murder mystery series. Super lighthearted, so much fun. And the very first book is called Knit One, Kill Two. And they are by Maggie Sefton, but it's a whole series. Sorry, I almost dropped the camera. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, a whole series. I am on like the seventh book or so. It's called Drop Dead Stitch. Anyway, they're really cheesy and great. I love them. Um, somebody said, you out and about in New York City. I'm sorry, not this one. <laughs> this was a very regular day, a very accurately regular day where I am home a lot of the time. Um, but Kent and I are trying to work on this work schedule so that we can actually have Friday afternoons free to have like an adventure Friday and do more on the weekends as well. So hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. Um, a day in the life from Toaster's point of view. I love that idea. Would you like to see a video on that? I think that would be so funny. And then last one, somebody's just about to move. Um, any tips on how to deep clean the fridge and oven? Um, the fridge, oh my gosh, just get everything out of there and wash that with soap and water. <laughs> That's going to be the best thing. Anything sticky? I don't know. See, the thing is about deep cleaning is that we lived in a new house and things were so new and I just find that it's better to keep things clean than to have to clean dirty messes. And I know that's not very helpful, but that's just the situations that we've been in, in the past. Although I am gonna do a deep cleaning video here in this house soon because we have some gross things that I need to clean. Um, so sorry, I can't be more helpful with that. But for oven, I would go to Go Clean Co on Instagram. She's got some wonderful tips on how to clean your oven. So I hope that helps. All right, you guys, I'm going to eat my lemonades, two lemonades. They're actually really good and drink my tea and hope my throat and everything feels better and get sleepy and go to bed and wake up and do it all again. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this day in the life and I will see you again for more videos. Bye. <laughs>